everyone, welcome to another episode of How Would I Paint That? This one is on the Tulip Bunch. This reference photo and painting was sent to me by one of my students in my online course, which is paintwithtricia.com. Here is uh, the reference photo and here is her painting. And um, she wants to know what I would do. So when I look at the reference, I um, like several things about it. One of it, which is that she chose to put the flowers at a diagonal because diagonals have a lot of energy and power to them. And they, they're just more energetic than a, than a vertical or a horizontal. Here's what the reference photo would look like if the tulips were standing straight up. You can see that it's not quite as good as the one with the diagonal. The other thing that I notice is that it's been lit pretty well and I appreciate that. So before I begin a painting, I ask myself, what's going to be the focal point? What's the thing that I find most interesting? So of these five tulips, I'm drawn to the um, fourth one over from the left. And um, I think that it will make a nice focal point because it's larger than the other ones. It has a good shadow side, so it's nice. It's got the contrast that I want. It also has a, that one striped leaf that goes around it. I think that's pretty interesting. The other ones don't have that. So that's the flower that I'm gonna put, uh, that's gonna be my focus. The next thing I ask myself is what color is the light? And I see yellow there. Um, I do see that, that my student does have yellow in her painting, so bravo. I'm gonna choose a cad yellow medium for the light color and uh, ultramarine blue for the shadow color. So that is a tinge that's in the local colors of things, the, the, of the parts of them that is in light and the parts that are in shadow. Then I proceed to mapping out where the shadow shapes are. And I'll do this right on my canvas. But this is uh, where I see the shadow shapes on this reference photo. And I, if I look at it just the shapes and no longer the, the actual photograph, I get an idea of the abstract foundation underneath the painting. If that shape is interesting, then your painting is gonna be interesting. If all goes right. Um, all right, so I've, I've decided where all the shapes of shadow are. And what that does for me is when I'm painting, when it's not in that shadow shape, then I know it's in light and it's going to be the real color plus the color of the light in a little higher value. And if I were looking at the flowers, for example, they're red. And so if they have a little bit of yellow, yellow and red make orange. So in the light, they're gonna to tend toward orange, gonna to be a little higher value. Now in the shadow, when I come to the, the dark parts that I've blocked in, I know that there's gonna be blue mixed in with the real color. So if the flower is red and there's a little bit of blue in there, it's gonna to verge toward red violet. So, looking at the painting uh, now that I've redone, you can see I did just that, where it's in the light, it's verging toward the orange, in the shadow, it's verging toward the red violet, um, and there's a definite value change. You'll um, notice is that uh, how, how I made the focal point stand out a little more than the other ones and that is because the orange on there is, is a little lighter than I've used on any of the other flowers. And um, the other thing I did was I extended the length of it just a little bit, but I think that makes it, you know, stand out from the bunch a little bit. Um, so that that's really how I did it. And, oh, oh I do have, something I'd like you to weigh in on. Um, one of the questions I had, when I looked at the, um, 
the reference photo. I noticed there was a little faint shadow on the wall. And so I wondered whether it would be better to have that shadow or not. And that's what I want your opinion on. So here it is with a cast shadow from the wall and the things that I think uh, the pro about that is that it does make a little shape that you could travel in to the, to the flowers. Um, the thing that might, that I think is negative about that is that if the wall is right there behind the flowers, then the, the imaginary space of the painting is very shallow. And sometimes people prefer paintings that have a big space in them. So that's pro and con on that. Here it is without the cast shadow. And what that does is it makes a much bigger space, but then it might feel like, but where is it in space? What, where, what's the context of it? So I just thought this could be something that you could help me out with by leaving a comment which way you prefer with the cast shadow or without. And as always, hit the like button for me. Thank you so much. Happy painting.